to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a DIY video using these Dollar Tree clear plastic ornaments. Um, so I am actually going to be making an ornament for my Adirondack themed tree and it's going to be a scenery ornament. So let's get right to it and I will show you the supplies that you're going to need for this project. First of all, you're definitely going to need the clear plastic ornaments from either the Dollar Tree or a lot of craft or hobby stores have them. These are not the ones that pop open. You can use the ones that pop open, but these ones only have an opening at the top right underneath the little silver um, hook right here. It's actually going to be reusing old Christmas cards. So these are old Christmas cards that I saved from last year. I went through all of my Christmas cards and picked out the ones that had kind of like a scenery in the the background that I really liked. Then I also have a few little sprays of greenery. Again, these all came from the dollar store. This is just a dollar store berry. And what I did was I pull, I had a few of these. I'm not gonna use the berries per se, but I am gonna use the little bit of little bits of greenery. I actually am gonna use the berries in another DIY video that I'll be posting very shortly. This is a fiber snow that I got from Hobby Lobby. And again, Hobby Lobby's Christmas decor items are all 50% off. So this package right here, which is 7.05 um, ounces, um, was normally $5, but I got it for $2.50. And it's the fine snow. Then I have some ribbon, some scissors, and then this is a double-sided sticky tape. I also tape. have a hot glue gun. It's a pen and a small round um, item that you're gonna be able to trace. Now you wanna make sure whatever item that is round is, um, less in diameter than the size of the ball. I believe this is a three inch plastic um, bulb and this is about a two and a half inch in diameter. So just make sure that whatever you're using for a template to dry your circle, it's smaller than the actual bulb. So for this demonstration, I'm actually gonna be showing you an ornament that we're gonna be using this really pretty um, woodsy background with the red barn from a Christmas card that I had saved from last year So first of all what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Item that I'm using to trace and I'm gonna place it over the part of the card that I want to show up in my ornament So I definitely want this red barn So I don't want the lettering down here So I'm just gonna try to center that red barn in my circle just like that, and then I'm gonna trace my circle, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that out. This is a nice use of cards that you've had from previous years. Instead of throwing them out, save them from year to year. That way you can make um, holiday ornaments to go with the decor that you're using for the next year. So once we have our circle cut out, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna curl this up so that it fits in the top of our um, plastic ornament. But to do that, if you just try to curl it on your own, you're probably gonna get some crease marks in your paper. So I use like a pen and I will use the flat side and I will kind of just use that pen to kind of push down and curl the paper ahead of time just like that so it kind of already gives the paper a little bit of um, a curl that makes it easier to twist um, into um, a cylinder like this to fit down inside your ornament okay before we put this in our our plastic ornament what I want to do is I want to take our double-sided sticky tape right here and I'm only going to take a really small piece like probably a quarter of an inch strip a quarter of an inch strip like this I'm gonna find the top of my um, my plat my circle and I'm gonna flip it around I'm gonna place it at the top of that scene on the back so that the sticky side, so that there's gonna be a sticky side here and a sticky side here. All right, I'm gonna just push it down so it sticks and I'll take that backing off. Just now like we're gonna twist it or we're gonna turn it into a cylinder and we're gonna stick it right down inside our ornament and we're gonna hold this little sticky part right here and we're gonna kind of push that little sticky part right up against the 
top portion, this little part that, that pops up. We're gonna push that right up against there to kind of hold that scene in place upright. It sticks out the edge a little bit. Um, then you can just take your scissors and just trim it off. All right, so now once that picture is in there, you can kind of use your pen to flatten it out a little bit once it's in there. I actually stick my finger down and kind of just push on the picture a little bit just to kind of flatten it out so that when you're holding it upright, you're gonna be able to see it. So we're gonna take some of our snow that we have here, and again, this is the fine snow. I poured a small amount of it in the little cup that I'm using to trace. And then I made just a small, I actually used the tag of one of the plastic balls that I have here and kind of folded it in half because I'm going to use that as like a little, um, I'm going to use that to kind of guide that snow right down inside my ornament. Just like that. I don't want a whole bunch of snow, but just a little bit to cover the bottom of my ornament. So it looks like there's real snow inside that ornament. All right, now I've got that snow in that ornament. You can kind of shake it around. There you go. So you can see that there's a snow covered ground with that barn in the background. Next, I'm gonna take one of these little pine branches and I'm just gonna kind of bend it slightly. Just gonna kind of bend it slightly when I want it in my ornament, I want it to kind of sit um, with the curve of the ornament. So I just bent it slightly, and then we're just gonna stick that right down in the ornament, just like that. So it looks like it's this greenery kind of wrapped around that cute little scene. Now, this is all I'm gonna do with this one. I can go ahead and put my little metal topper on. So there's the ornament, that one is done. Really, really simple and easy. I'm now just gonna make a little ribbon hanger for the top. I'm just gonna string one end through the top of my ornament. I'm gonna put a dab of hot glue on the end. Just a little dab of hot glue on the end. And I'm going to take my other end and just glue it. I'm just gonna glue it right together and then I will trim off the excess. Just like that. So now I have this really pretty natural ribbon hanger for this adorable ornament. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a bunch more and then I'm gonna start to hang them on the tree and we'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. Well, here they all are. I just finished up the last one, which was this cute little Santa Claus one. I thought it was a perfect one to finish. I think I had seven of them that I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang them on the tree. But first I'll just give you a quick peek at the ones that I finished. So what I tried to do was I tried to use background sceneries that were um, a lot of whites and grays with just pops of red um, and that was kind of what I was going for with the style of these ornaments um, so I did this really cute birch tree with the red um, berry wreath and then there was this couple walking in the snow and he had a red jacket on then this is the only one that I didn't have any red in, but I thought that church was gorgeous. It was like a old New England style church. Um, there's that um, woodsy background with the red barn right there. And then here's another lonely Christmas tree out in the snowy white, um, with a snowy white background. So I did add a couple of red berries to just give it a pop of red. And then there's that cute little reindeer just peeking through the woods right there. And then there is our Santa Claus. So I love how they turned out. I'm gonna go hang them on my tree right now. So one really great idea for this project would be to use your kids Christmas pictures with Santa Claus. That way you can have a keepsake ornament year after year.